Hello, I am Rogeru, and in this video I'll be showing you some in-game footage of the next DLC for CK2, Way of Life, coming the 16th of December. This is a small DLC introducing new focuses for rulers, your own characters and NPCs. These new focuses come with corresponding intrigue options and events. Let's get started. An easy way to introduce my fellow Paradoxians to some of the new features in Way of Life is to begin with the Ruler Designer. And as you can probably see, there are some new and unfamiliar icons here such as Administrator or Architect, Strategist. These new traits, these new lifestyle traits, aren't gained in the traditional way of, say, a random event, like the way you would gain Gardener before. No, these require focusing on something, and we'll get into that in a moment. The trait Master Seducer, for instance, requires a heavy investment in the art of medieval seduction. And I'll show you a character now who has spent the last several years working towards gaining this trait. Say hello to our helper, Doge Zakaria of Venice. He is a Midas-touched lunatic seducer. Yes, he has chosen to focus on the medieval art of seduction. Opening up our focus panel here, you can see that we have 10 different focuses to choose from. Two for each category of trait. We have Seduction and Intrigue for Intrigue, Rulership and Business for Stewardship, Scholarship and Theology for Learning, Family and Carousing for Diplomacy, and Martial, er, and War and Hunting for Martial. Each of these events comes with unique traits and events that will only fire if you've chosen to focus on one of these focuses. We have chosen Seduction. Now, Seduction, in this case, also gives us the option to seduce targets, and this will open up our event chain to give us the Master Seducer trait that we were talking about earlier. We've already started down the path, and we have the Seducer uh, trait here, and we've gotten that because we have a few successful conquests already. Fortunata, Lady Sophia, Martina, and of course, Queen Albrada of Lombardy. She was a difficult one. But it makes sense to me that if we want to continue down this chain, we need to seduce more women. And I think the Duke of Friuli's wife is the perfect target. If we right click on her portrait, we can see that she is a suitable target and we can therefore start to seduce her. The medieval art of seduction has begun. The chase begins. These events will continue to fire until either she rebukes you, you give up, or you add another notch to your bedpost. Now, you're not locked to just being a seduction-focused character for the rest of that character's life. Every five years, you can choose a new focus. Now, let's say Doge Zakaria has gotten tired of chasing women all across Italy. He can instead choose to focus on his burgeoning family. Quite large family that has, for some reason, managed to spring up over the years. And he will begin to get new events and new traits because of his new focus. Now, Doge Zakaria has helped us so far, but let's move on to another character and see if I can show you a few more events and traits that can pop up for a different focus, a different kind of character. King Aurelio of Astorias has decided in his later years to become a carousing, popular, outgoing party guy. And to do so, he can start by inviting his vassals and people he'd like to become closer friends with to a small personal party. And you can do this by initiating the Diplomacy button, uh, right-clicking on their portrait now in this, this new update. Invite to carousing. Invite Count Silo to a private feast. Now, this event will fire after a few months, and you have to invite everybody that you want to bring to your party before that event fires. So let's just invite a couple people here. I think three people and our son and heir will be perfect for the little party that King Aurelio is planning to throw. Unfortunately, a couple of our friends can't make it. Well, they'll become our friends eventually. I think at least one person has decided to come to our small party. You gotta start somewhere, King Aurelio. Now we can wait for the event to fire, and King Aurelio will be a regular Asturian partygoer. It's 
probably uh, one of the few parties he's going to be throwing before Asturias gets murdered by the Umayyad dynasty. But we'll see. Finally, the guests have arrived for the private feast. It's time for the carousing and merriment to begin. Gives you a small bit of monthly prestige. And we've made a best friend. The days of revelry are an excellent escape. So many laughs and so many intense conversations in such a short time it brings you closer to your companions. You feel like good friends already. So we get a small bonus to opinion. Let's see, where is it? Uh, uh, plus 10 from carousing. And this will go up over time the more you invite people to parties, etc., etc. And that's just another example of some of the new options, diplomacy options, things you can do in peacetime, basically, for the Way of Life DLC. Thank you for watching. I've been Rotoru, and this has been the Crusader Kings 2 DLC Way of Life. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to see more from me every week, consider subscribing. Tell me in the comments what your most anticipated feature of the DLC is going to be and how you intend to use it, and what sort of videos you'd like to see from me in the future. On that note, get hype for Hearts of Iron 4, fellas. Good luck.